You guys, we moved. We moved to a different Airbnb today because we extended our stay here in Rio. And so we had to leave the Airbnb that we were at. Now we're at a new one. We just got in like a few minutes ago. Let me fix my hair. Boom. All right, let me give you guys a tour. It's really nice. It's really big. This is the back entrance. There's a door here. And then this is the laundry area. And then it kind of turns into the kitchen. So then we have a nice big refrigerator here. This is our dining table. Then this is the kitchen over here. And then there's like more prep space here. This has like pots, pans, anything that we need for cooking. This is one bathroom that they have here. On the light. There's like a toilet here shower this airbnb is much bigger than the one we were just at because the last one we had we just had one small bathroom bedroom tiny kitchen living room but this one is much bigger this is one of the rooms here i love the floor in this airbnb i think we're going to be using this room mainly for storage because it's kind of nice not having all of these things that we travel with in our bedroom so i think this is where we're going to leave them this is the main bedroom Fuzzy and pink are already set up there. We have a TV and we have a nice view of the street. I'll show you guys. Oh my gosh, I was wondering where you were. <laughs> and you're here. How is it? That's nice. This is the view that we have from our Airbnb. This is the front door, the main door. And then this is our, I guess, official dining table. This is the couch. Where are we going? We have to go to Parque de Lage. Laje. Laje. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're gonna go to Parque Laje. We're gonna go to the botanical garden. We started our day a little bit late because we had to move into this Airbnb, but we're gonna try to make the best of it and just see as much as we can. reservations in order to go into like the main area and we don't have reservations but we're thinking we're just gonna check it out and see what we can see and then maybe if we really really want to come back another day then we can do that but look how green it is here you guys look at this cutting down the trees everywhere <laughs> no that's not true yes. all right i mean yes it's true um we're in trouble because we can't go in to see like the main part of the cafe area that's supposed to be really really pretty because we don't have a reservation so now um i don't know what we're gonna do i don't know if there's a possible way that we can try to just 
get a reservation right now or if we can just say that we want to buy coffee or something we're gonna try something um, there's monkeys in the vegetation and Sam and I both don't like monkeys so we're trying to stay kind of away but we also want to get a good shot of their face because I've noticed that some monkeys here in Brazil they have like human like faces so anyways we're gonna go try to see if we can get a little bit closer to the action here So basically what happened is that there's a wedding so we can't go in it's unfortunate so I think now we're gonna cut our losses and just go ahead to the botanical garden which is somewhere close by here There's a lot of greenery all around it and there's a lot of like tunnels that you can go through and caves and you end up like going on one trail that leads you like into a cave and then into another cave and into like these crazy areas so it's kind of fun it definitely feels like a natural jungle gym some parts are kind of scary for me because I'm thinking that there's gonna be bats in some of the caves but we haven't seen anything so far we're exiting Parque Laje and we're gonna go to the botanical garden Look at this lake, you guys. It's so beautiful. You guys were now in the botanical garden we paid for our ticket it cost about $13 per person it was like 65 
size. We're just kind of walking through it. Sam loves trees. He's a tree hugger. I don't know their names, but I just love them. He likes to touch them and just get really close. And I like trees too. I'm hugging it. Everything's so beautiful in here. Apparently, it takes an hour or an hour and a half to walk this whole park. I highly recommend visiting both the botanical garden and the Parque Lage. The botanical garden, it costs to come in. The Parque Lage, you do need to have a reservation at the cafe in order to go inside. So I think you guys should probably do that because then you can actually sit inside and like take it all in. The botanical garden is so beautiful, you guys. It's so lush, so green. There's so many beautiful things in every corner. Fountains and statues and... <laughs> It's gorgeous, so I would say maybe come on a day that's not super, super hot because it is a lot of walking or just bring a hat or sunblock. Today, it's kind of like a gloomier day. That's why we decided to do these two things instead of going up to the Christ the Redeemer or Sugarloaf because we're trying to hopefully go on days. Oh, oh frick. <laughs> we're hoping to go there on a clearer day so we can see more of the city down below, but I guess if it's a gloomy day, this is not a bad idea. from the botanical garden. It was really, really beautiful. Lots of stuff to see. There's flowers, there's plants, there's really beautiful trees, there's fountains. Yeah. It's really nice. I definitely Thank suggest you. coming here. It's very peaceful. We're really tired because we've been walking a little while now and we need to like take a little break. So I think we're gonna try to find somewhere to eat. <laughs> of people there so we were like let's go check this place out and see what it is and turns out that it's like a nice restaurant you could do either buffet style or you could pick things from the menu so we decided to do buffet style this is my plate I got dried pork pineapple fried um, yuca so this is what I got and I also got this which is a traditional thing that they put on Brazilian food I think it's called like farofa or something. I'm pretty sure. All right, guys, we're gonna eat and enjoy this view. Woo! What'd you think about that? That was amazing. 
<laughs> yeah. Sam is literally eating right now. And there's a Christ the Redeemer right behind him. And the horse races are right next to you. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty cool that we're just randomly at this horse race. Here we got the buffet. Basically everything was very very good, but my favorite favorite thing from the buffet you guys are these bananas. They're like fried bananas. They are so good. I absolutely love them. And the fried yuca, it looks so dry you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell because my camera is just not focusing. But they're actually very good and moist. And the ribs. The ribs were really good here. And now I'm having a caipirinha. So I think just for the whole vibe, it's worth coming here. I think it is a little bit more of an expensive restaurant, but you get such a beautiful view of the Christ the Redeemer. I can literally see it so clearly. And then you have this beautiful horse track, and you get to see the horses come by every here and there. And then the food is, is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's like the best restaurant culinary-wise in my opinion, but I think just for the whole experience, I highly recommend it. So for the experience, the food actually was not bad at all and I think this is one of the best things I've ever tried in my entire life, this banana. It's like lightly coated and crunchy, but then the banana inside is so nice and soft. It's amazing. So anyways, I'd recommend this place. I give it a 10 out of 10. Why? They're all fun guys. <laughs> my type of guys. Fun guys. Ow, my knees. Ow. Okay, now you have to do your dance down here on these steps. Beautiful. You're beautiful. I just want you to know. You're my favorite girl. 